New tonight, it is that time of year. Wildlife coming out of the woodwork now, like these coyote pups. Kind of cute, right? Spotted in Brantford. Sometimes the parents are killed and the young have to fend for themselves. So what should you do if you have orphaned wildlife in your area? News 8's Bob Wilson has been talking to wildlife experts tonight. They are the cutest little things, several coyote pups playing together, rolling around in the grass in a neighborhood in Brantford. They're in the front yards, the backyards, and on driveways. No mother in sight. We are to the point where we're a little concerned, um, and they said that it doesn't. It's been a week, so probably there's not a parent around, which is sad. It's best to leave baby wildlife alone or wildlife in general. Deep spokesperson Chris Colby says the people in the neighborhood are doing the right thing, letting nature take its course. This is the time of year when orphan animals emerge from the woods, and they're very playful as they have not yet learned to be scared of humans. Many times, it's against the law to bring these wild animals into your home and try to make them into a pet. If you pick one up, you don't know if it's carrying rabies or other have other illnesses. If you think the animal is sick, contact our wildlife division. The Roaring Brook Nature Center is just one of the rehabilitation sites the state uses for injured or homeless animals. Right now, they're working on these baby opossums. Their mother was struck and killed by a car. But they have hundreds of other animals that come through their clinic doors. Since the first of the year, we've taken in over 300 animals here, and we get thousands of calls. Now when they say don't touch out in the wild, they mean it. They mean it here too. They've got glass separating the Alicia. She takes care of the animals. She's looking at the opossum right now. And they say that's because they want to make sure the animals stay as wild as possible so they have a best chance of surviving when they head back out into the wilderness. How do they know if the animal's truly abandoned? They should call us and then we can ask them some questions and we will get an idea as to whether this is an animal that is in need of care or should be left on its own. Bob Wilson, News 8.